what's up scorpio and thank you guys so much for tuning in okay guys so let's get into this this is going to be your september 2018 reading now i will be coming out with the mid-month readings in just a few days and then i will be so happy because i'm finally you know caught up with my regular flow after taking some time off for the summer and you know just thank you to everyone who's been patient with me because it took me a little bit longer than expected to get you know back into my normal flow so let's see what's going on guys now this will be for sun moon and rising signs and again this is a general reading i do not expect this to resonate with 100 percent of you but my intention is to always reach those that need my particular message okay so if it doesn't resonate try back you know another set of readings that i do maybe another month or you guys could always get a personal and that's always going to relate to you okay and for anyone that would like a personal reading, please listen to everything I have to say at the end so that you're fully aware of the wait times, you know, what to expect and how to get a hold of me, okay? Now, what is going on for the sign of Scorpio, September 2018? I was about to call it a night, but I'm like, no, I'm not satisfied just doing one YouTube reading today. So let's do Scorpio. So let's see what's up, guys. All right, so we have your past, present, and future. Okay, so the energy, guys, is the lover's card in the reverse. So it doesn't always have to be a fallout or a breakup with someone. It could be you just arguing with the person. But with the lover's card in the reverse, some sort of fallout that you're having, whether it's with... Um, you know, someone that you're intimate with, a friend, a family member, even a job, you know, that you were closely tied to for a while. But there's something here where you're having a fallout with someone, you're kind of skeptical to move forward, but it shows that beautiful things come into your life when you stop putting effort into this and that you get wish fulfillment. All right, so something that may not work out, but it literally opens the path to something that you may really, really want. Now, going into your past, guys, we have the Eight of Cups. Walking away from something that was hard for you, where you were really emotionally invested. Why is this Eight of Cups here? You have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So whether it was you or maybe a Taurus Virgo Capricorn here, or just anybody, because anyone can take on the energy of any card. There was someone in the situation that they try to be ride or die, okay? They really tried putting in all their time and all their effort, but they weren't being appreciated. They didn't get what it was that they felt that they deserved. So you guys get fed up, you move past something, and you're in a place where it's like, okay, what now? What's the best move for me going forward at this point? And we have the strength card in the verse, so there's a sense of debilitation that you feel here at this time. But guys, it's still leading you to wish fulfillment. Now we have the sun card, so it's like you leave something behind and it's like, oh my god, look at what just came in. So you guys have something, you know, bright and abundant that comes in, something that comes to light here. And you have the nine of swords. Okay, let's get one more card. And you have the five of cups and the world card flipped. So you're in a place here where you're worried, you're anxious. Maybe you're really sad about what it is that you lost or what didn't work out to your favor, but this is what you get. So it was difficult, but you close the door where you're going into a complete new chapter. And this is something that's going to give you a much brighter future. So you're upset, but there's really no need to be at this point because you just set yourself up for a much better situation. Okay, so you have the Ace of Pentacles as your next card. A new start, a new job, a new lover, a new friend. Something here that, with the pentacle energy, it won't be something that develops overnight, but because you really take your time with this, this is something that is longevity. This is something that you can really rely on for a long time to be in your life. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? We have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. And we have the King of Swords. For some of you, you could be having a new start, maybe with a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. Okay. Now, it's showing that you guys have this new amazing start that was coming in in the past. But with the High Priestess in the reverse, there's still the sense of, is this the right thing? You know, 
Um, is this person going to play me or is this person going to do me wrong? This could be a sense of just not being fully confident and that could be because of the trials and tribulations you went through prior. But you guys are going into something that has the potential to last a long time. And what you really need to realize at this point is that because you stopped putting effort into something, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So something really good is coming in. But I feel like you guys are still stuck in an energy of something that didn't work out. So maybe you're questioning this new thing. Okay, but look. I see the Star card and I see the Ten of Pentacles. If this is with, you know, finances or work, I see a lot of money that comes in. Or that is about to come in. If this is just any other part in life, it's just you feeling extremely abundant and getting something that you're really wishing for. All right. Now, in the present moment, we have the tower card in the reverse. So this is you guys dodging a bullet, you know, something that could have been really catastrophic that you're able to maneuver your way out of. And we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse, so you don't feel stuck anymore. You're not mentally trapped on anything. You take your blindfold off and you walk out of this trap that either you set for yourself or someone tried to set up for you. Okay? And you're still trying to find balance, but you're out. You dodged a bullet. You're unscathed at this point. Okay? So it just wasn't working. Now, the center of this reading, and also the next card for your present moment, you have the Page of Wands in the reverse. So, this is going to be shit-talking that is coming from someone, okay? So, it could be rumors, that sort of thing. For some of you, maybe you're dealing with the Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius in the past, and they stopped talking to you. Or there's just a passionate idea that you stopped working on. Or maybe someone that you stopped speaking to with passion, or they stopped speaking to you with passion. Why is this Page of Wands in the reverse here? We have the Four of Swords. Okay, let's get one more card. And the Chariot in the reverse. So at this point, there's something that was just out of your control that you amicably, you know, try to part ways with. And now it's that sense of, okay, well, what now? With the Four of Swords, this is someone who's going to be in a deep medita uh, a meditative state in regards to how they want to move forward. And they're not going to make that move unless it's something that makes sense. Unless it's something that their soul and their higher self is okay with. Okay, but you're realizing that something was just bad judgment with this judgment card in the reverse. Why is this judgment card in the reverse here? We have the magician in the reverse. So somebody was manipulating a situation or there's just something that you simply don't want to manifest anymore because it's reckless. Okay, Knight of Swords in the reverse is someone who's usually very intelligent. But, you know, when they're in the reverse, it's someone who kind of runs into battle all angry. And when they go to fight, they realize that they left their sword at home. So it just wasn't thought out. All right. So whatever that is, you stop putting effort into it. You stop talking to this person. Um, you know, whatever it is, it's just cut out. You just don't put effort. Now, moving forward, guys, into the future, you have the Two of Cups in the reverse. So continuation of the feeling that you have just falling out from this. You just know it was something that wasn't doing, you know, right by you at this time. Or maybe something that you guys just didn't want for whatever reason. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse again. So something was really just not working here. Okay, but guys, it keeps showing that every time you turn your back on this, that you have the ability to expand. You have the ability to really open yourself up to this world and do more than what you're doing. You know, than what you were doing prior to that situation being in your life. But there's a strong sense of betrayal that you feel. Or you could just feel like this was a very harsh or abrupt ending. Okay, so you're burdened by what you had to let go of, even though there's so many blessings coming in because you let it go. All right, we have the five of pentacles in the reverse where you feel burdened, but something does come into your life that it takes you out of a place of feeling rejected or feeling left out in the cold. Or maybe you did that to someone else, but it's helping you to, you know, move away from the thought of it. And you have the two of ones in the reverse. So you guys feel burdened, of course. You feel like your path is a little lost, but guess what you're doing? You're on a path to self-sufficiency. Whatever this is, whoever this was, this was something that was holding you guys back from being as powerful as you can be. And you eventually get to the place where not only are you very happy because you let this go, but I see you being more financially stable. I see you being more confident. I see you having way more stability. With the Hierophant in the reverse, it wasn't something that was meant to be in your life anymore. Okay, and we have the Five of Wands as your last card for the future. You're avoiding fighting, arguing, any sense of competition, any sense of debilitation or tension. 
Why is this five of wands in the reverse here? The king of wands in the reverse. So maybe you guys were dealing with a player. Maybe you were the player, but there's no competition. You're letting it go at this point. Eight of wands in the reverse. So anybody that didn't have good intention for you, it's out. All right? Because there is all illusion here. But now that that didn't work out, you get wish fulfillment. You get a lot of things that come into your life that you needed. It's just that you had someone throw you off for a bit. All right? You had the high priestess in the reverse and the justice card in the reverse. So some sort of injustice that was being done to you or maybe that you were doing, but you were ignoring, you know, the warning signs and the red flags, but you finally see it for what it is. You guys stand your ground throughout it. And with the full card over here, you have a complete new start and you're really excited about it. You just have to get past this road, you know, this road bump. All right. So let's see where this is going to be heading and what you guys need to be focusing on in regards to, you know, just guidance. So I'm going to use Earth Magic Oracle cards by Stephen D. Farmer. For those who have been with me a while, you know, this is always my go-to. Um, but I strayed away from it for a while. Bring it back now. So let's see what the advice is going to be, guys. What card of guidance does the sign of Scorpio need to see for September 2018? Okay. Wow. So guys, this is going to be very similar to the spread that we just did. So there was something in your life where you were kind of putting yourself on the back burner, okay? We have Gaia, the nurturing card, in its reverse. So this is a sense of you not taking care of yourself, not taking those extra steps to make sure that you were good before you made sure somebody else was good. And whatever this was, it was keeping you, you know, ungrounded, where you were kind of all over the place. And the thing about this, Scorpio, is that I feel, especially with your last few readings, that you guys were truly onto something. I'm not saying that you're not onto it anymore, it's always still there, but there was some sort of breakthrough that was going to happen, a breach that you guys were finally going to make. But this really messed with your power. You have the power card in the reverse, okay? Because it took away your focus, all right? So something threw you off, it took away your focus, and it took your power with it. Not saying that it's something that is going to stay that way. It's just now you're realizing, like, shit, I was about to do this, this, that, and the third, and then you came in, and me, like an idiot, you know, just listened to you, and here I am having to start over again. And I don't mean idiot to call you guys idiot, but there's just certain people in this world that... We want to give them the benefit of the doubt and we want to say, hey, you know, I'll give you a shot or I'll give this a try. And, you know, people fuck us over, okay? Because not everybody is going to have that same heart as you. So there are people in this world that will waste your time. Now, this isn't something that's going to stick. You guys are very powerful people. And just with that Scorpio mindset, you guys can forgive, but I know you'll never forget. Okay, so take this as a lesson because this is something that may have weakened you just for a little bit. But you will never forget what this person or the situation put you through and how you felt going through it. So in the future, if you ever feel tempted by this person or situation or you ever kind of look back at it, I want you guys to remember that there was something big that was about to happen in your life and that this was kind of a delay on it, okay? For some of you, maybe it could have been love, all right? So maybe your heart went out to the wrong person and it happens and we all have to go through it so that we can learn. I feel that true maturity in life comes when we don't let a pretty face, whether you're male or female, or somebody that speaks about all the potential they have, when we don't allow that to excite us, okay? Because I feel like that's sort of the thing. We just have the superficiality towards what we want in life. And I can't tell you the number of times that I got really burned because someone had a pretty face. So now when people have a pretty face, I'm like, oh, okay, come on, that's your face. What else do you have going for you? You know, what's your credit score looking like? What are you doing in life? What car are you driving? You know, are you doing anything for yourself? Or are you just pretty? If you're just pretty, you're wasting my time. Get out of my face. So once you get to that point where you can look past a person's looks or how something may look in the beginning, something that seems shiny, whether it's a new job, a new car, a new opportunity that you have, and you can get past that initial excitement and really do your research and say, okay, this looks good, but is it really good? that's when you'll get past all of this and that's what this is really meant to teach you so now you guys are gonna love differently and more compassionately and you guys are really going to know where you should put your effort and where you shouldn't 
when you have new things that come into your life, if it slightly reminds you of this situation here, you're going to know to stay away. Okay, so you have that lesson. So don't let that lesson be for nothing. Now that you see it for what it is, you have movement all over again. Okay, I don't see this as a setback. I just see this as something that makes you more aware of the energies around you and the ability that people have sometimes to throw us off so that you avoid it in the future. But now, guys, it's time to create. Now that this is out of your you know, vicinity, you have the synergy card. This is just synchronicities happening in your life. When we have people in our life that aren't supposed to be there or certain things that aren't supposed to be there, you'll feel that you know there's a lot of blockages that you have. Uh, me, for example, I was always the type of person that anytime I was looking for a job in the past, if I got a call saying, hey, come in for an interview, I would look at my mom and dad and say, hey, I got a new job. And they're like, didn't they just call you for an interview? I'm like, yeah, but I got my way in the door. I know I'm going to get the job. And every single time I got the job, there's never anything I did not make, whether it was a sports team, a dance team, um, a new job. I, I did it all. No one ever said no to me. And then when I had like a shitty situation happening in my life that it was spread out unnecessarily through years, nothing was happening for me. I was going to jobs that I was overqualified for and it just wasn't happening and nothing was working. Everything was out of whack because I had such a negative and just distasteful energy around me. So when you feel like things aren't going right and you're able to look in the mirror and put yourself in check. Because sometimes we're the idiots and the assholes. Sometimes we need to change the way that we look or talk to people. Okay, so when you put yourself in check and you know that, okay, I checked myself. I know that I'm no longer spreading negativity, but shit is still happening. Then it's still someone that you need to get out of your life or it's a situation that you need to get out of your life. And in this case, that's literally the only block that you guys have. This person, this situation, this job, this boss, this lover, whoever it is. Okay no one in this world i mean besides like your children or just very very close family members especially if they've held you down for a long time but aside from that guys nobody in this world is worth a delay on something that you really want or is worth you giving up something that you really want okay so if there's a dream that you have if there's a goal that you have and you want to get to it and it's literally a person that's blocking you or a job that's blocking you I hope you guys really have that oomph within you to say, yo, get the hell out of my way, all right? And it takes a while to get there. It takes a while to have that backbone. But once you're unapologetic about what it is that you want to achieve in life, people will stop fucking with you in a bad way. And, you know, that's something I say all the time where, you know, with Scorpios, you guys love so hard. So sometimes it could be hard to say no to a person, even if what they're asking you for is not something that, you know, conveniences you in every, you know, in any way at all. But when you guys get that backbone where people know that they can't mess with you, when people know that you have no problem saying no, or you have no problem saying, look, I'm not going to deal with you anymore. I promise you all those little jokers, they move out of the way. And again, it could be uncomfortable as you make that transition to just becoming an unapologetic person. But once you do, life gets so much easier. So you just have to take those steps. And, you know, me as a Taurus, where I feel like Tauruses and Scorpios, they do love very similarly. Because when we give our all, we give our all. But when you fuck us over, ooh. It sucks because you, you just screwed yourself over. With you guys, you're going to hold on to kind of, not this vengeance, but you're never going to forget. With Tauruses, we're really stubborn. So if you fuck me over really bad, I'll bring it up in five years because I will never forget it. So we have that similarity. But when you get to the point where you can say, no, this isn't going to work. I'm not going to do that. And before I did it just to make you happy, but I realized that I wasn't happy. And now that I'm saying no, it kind of, you know, the word will spread. And ever since I myself took that journey, this is a journey I took recently, guys. This is something that I probably mastered, to be realistic with you, a few months ago. Because I was always the person that gave so much to the point where it made me so uncomfortable. And people didn't see that they were making me uncomfortable. So it became my job to let them know I'm no longer going to be, you know, uncomfortable because of you. And ever since I put my foot down, yes, I lost a lot of people because they knew they couldn't use me anymore. But then, too, I don't have people like that come around me. People don't even try because they know I will tell them no with a straight face and it will not bother me. Okay, so you guys kind of have to have that. And if people don't want to be around you because of it, that just lets you know that they're weak. 
not that you're weak, okay? And the people who can stand that and they can be there and they can have that back and forth conversation with you after you're being very, very honest, those are the people you hold on to. If you have a friend or a lover or just anyone in your life that they can't take constructive criticism or they can't hear when they're fucking up, then don't waste your time with that. The best friends in this world, the best lovers in this world are people that will look you in the eye and say you're fucking up and we need to talk about it. Okay, those are the people I cherish, the people who are not afraid to tell me the truth. So whatever this is, there's something that needs to be let go of, you know, and once you let go of it, the world is literally yours. Okay, so don't waste any time on this, guys. Now I'm super curious to see what's going to happen in your mid-month reading, but I feel good about this, okay? I feel like you guys can make the decisions that you need to that are really going to set you forward on the right path, okay? Now, for those of you that do want to follow my Instagram, it's High Vibrations 44 I'm always putting updates on what videos are coming out, you know, just what I'm doing, um, if I'm ever sick or anything like that. So you guys can always stay up to date with me there. And I'm always just putting out good vibes. And then for those that do want a personal reading, please listen to the next minute just so you know what to expect. Now, if you go on my website, all the links that I'm about to talk about are in the description below this video. But if you guys want um, a personal reading, the standard wait time for the standard readings is anywhere from three to four full weeks. So if you can wait that time, perfect, okay? Now, with those readings, if you guys do have any sort of updates before you get the reading, just shoot me an email and I'll apply it to the reading once I get to it. And if something happens where you guys cannot wait any longer, you can always upgrade it to an emergency and then I'll get it out within two days that you upgrade it, okay? Now, if you guys do need to hear from me very quickly, it's something very pressing, I offer an emergency reading. I also offer um, an option called a quick question. So for both of those, you guys will hear from me within two days, excluding Sundays or any sort of American holidays that most of us do celebrate. Now, um, with that, if you guys ever order an emergency reading anywhere from like Friday to Sunday, give me an extra day because on the weekend, that's my time to kind of unwind. So I do not work as much as I do during the week. So it might take me an extra day. So just be super patient with me. Um, and then what else? So I'm also, guys, on an app called Instant Go. So if you guys have um, iPhone, you could download that app. Just text me any question, and I will text you the response. It's usually within the day, but again, give me up to two days. But the last thing I did want to say is that if you guys do choose to book a reading through my um, High Vibrations with Liz website, it's going to take you to a calendar where you can select a day and a time for the reading. Now, unfortunately, I am not able to take that option out. And um, the Wix platform that I use for my website, it makes me use it, okay? So it would just be so unrealistic if I had thousands of people telling me exactly what time I had to work. So I really hope that you guys could understand that. So select any day, select any time. It does not matter. I don't look at it. It means nothing to me. So if it's a standard reading, three to four um, weeks, if it is... Uh, general I mean I'm sorry a emergency reading you'll get it within two days now if you guys want to speak to me whether it's on the phone or through you know Skype or zoom because all the readings uh, they're recorded just like this one and then I um, upload it and well I upload it privately and then I'll send it to your email so if you guys want something that's actually done live where we're actually speaking then you guys would have to get at least the hour reading okay but I offer an hour and two hour readings so anything you guys need I'm super flexible I'm willing to work with you if you guys um, are looking for a reading that I don't have listed then just shoot me an email as long as it's not you know anything to do with like people who have passed away or crossing that realm okay I will do it for you but um, yeah, I'm open. I love y'all. I'll be back with your minimums soon. Take care, Scorpio.